Have you ever been to a railway station where the train has not yet come? You will see a lot of passengers relaxing on the platform. But as soon as the railway an announcer announces that the train is going to come on this particular platform and by chance you are on the wrong platform, right? Everybody will rush to the right platform. Maybe they change the platform and then everybody rushes to the right platform and to board the train. While you will still see some people relaxing, thinking, okay, once the train arrives, we will change our platform or whatever. In today's video, uh, I'm going to talk about a similar situation which happens in the life of a lot of students who are preparing for CSIRAT. When the notification has not come, they are waiting for the notification. Once the notification arrives, they'll start looking for easy ways to prepare for CSIRAT, right? And many students come to me on a daily basis and thanks to the YouTube arrive and comment section is full of such questions. What is the easy way? There has to be easy way, right? I have jotted down around four to five points which uh, will help you prepare for CSIRAT in an easy way, okay? And first things first, a disclaimer, truth be told, CSIRNet exam preparation is a long and tedious process. You can't have the easy way, but definitely there can be a better way. Okay. Now the question is, what is that better way? Now in our quest to achieve success for all our students, we have developed several methodologies, which uh, I'm going to enlist in today's uh, video. Now I have made separate videos also on these methodologies and techniques earlier in our YouTube channel, which you can refer. But today I'll be crisp and concise. The first things first is you need to develop Suppose the next 60 days exam is there. So you need to develop a habit, redesign your study habits. Most of the time we are just sitting and relaxing, just like how, how I said, uh, when the not uh, notification has not come, you are waiting for the notification. Once the notification comes, then you start looking for the methods to prepare or the materials to prepare. Instead, now is the time that you start redesigning your habit, studying habit, okay? And one of the best ways to change your habit is to put yourself into a stringent program which yields discipline you know there, there are two things here motivation and discipline you are probably motivated to watch this video but if you want to achieve success then you have to follow the steps which i'm going to tell so that is discipline right so you have to put yourself into a stringent program which will change your study habit which will propel you towards success success which will make you solve more questions on a daily basis right and that is the fast track batch which Biotechnica is launching from 19th of October, which you can enjoy. But this is not only about that batch, this is about changing your study habits. The second thing is, you know, um, you have to practice under guidance. Many a times you start practicing just like, okay, we'll take the previous question paper, we start solving, right? But uh, at the end you will check, okay, whether it is right or wrong, but nobody is telling you on a real time basis, whether it is right or wrong. And that's what uh, we do at Biotechnica. So after every class, we are giving handouts nowadays for the, all the fast track batch students. So, you know, you question, question will be flashed on the screen. You all solve, all the students will solve and give their explanation. Then the teacher will give their explanation. So uh, practice question solving under guidance so that your mistakes are corrected then and there. Okay, this is a favorite line which my father used to tell me that if you correct the mistakes then and there, it will never become a disease. Okay, otherwise it, it can lead to a pandemic, right? That's what happened with uh, the COVID pandemic. If they had contained it at the epidemic level, it would not have become a pandemic. Same way, if you solve the question then and there, you get the feedback whether it is right, wrong and why it is wrong, then you can prevent, uh, you know, negative marking also. So this is the second point which I wanted to highlight today. Now the third is ultra scientific method and I have uh, outlined more than 21 different methods of active recall methodology okay now active recall methodology is the only way possible in the next 60 days if you are thinking that okay I will probably just go in and be study the same old math method that's not going to yield success you have to change the way you are studying you have to scientifically change it because you're studying science and it's very difficult to retain things and so many things in the of the syllabus in your mind, right? So active uh, recall methods, I have a separate video which you can go for, which you can look at. So 21 different active recall methods are there which you can implement in the next 60 days to improve your uh, studying uh, efficiency, okay? So that's the third point which I wanted to highlight. The fourth point which I have is getting into a practice mode 
where you are not just solving questions but also trying to avoid negative marking okay and many students uh, say that okay let's solve pyqs previous year question papers problem with previous year question papers is there's so many right so you can probably solve five years or the next 10 years question paper in the next 60 days but then you don't know which one is tough which one is easy right and which one is a trap question which one which question you should avoid and which question you should actually uh, attempt right so all of that has to be uh, told to you you have to be trained on negative marking so that you avoid negative marking you know actually these exams are uh, a rejection game where the question paper setter wants you to reject more questions than you select otherwise he will reject you according to the cutoff right so these were the four important points which i wanted to highlight these are not easy ways i would say these are better ways okay especially the active recall method practicing under guidance and uh, redesigning your habits for studying because uh, if your habits are not corrected uh, you know a qualifying exam is not easy one last point is uh, we're starting this fast track batch which is starting from 19th of october it will be on a daily basis we'll have the part a section as well as part b part c all the practice questions will be there as well as the teacher will come with 150 topics which we are going to cover in the next 60 days and uh, it is coming at an ultra cheap uh, fee so that it is affordable to everybody and uh, you will get a glimpse of the depth of knowledge and expertise which biotechnicas uh, faculties have just to give you an idea we start by a technica 17 years ago and just yesterday we had the 17th birthday so you can imagine 17 years we have trained uh, students for 34 times for csinet and made them qualify and we know this that the next 60 days is crucial you should not just sit on the platform waiting that the train will arrive one day and then you will start preparation instead prepare well prepare early start now so that you have the right momentum by the time you will touch 26th of december when the exam happens so all the best and keep shining see you soon in the next one till then keep uh, rocking keep studying and please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions all the best bye